Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video and we are back out on the golf course again. The sun is shining on us. So this is the video that I've been wanting to do for so, so, so long. I've been wanting to do this video because I think 80 to 90% of the time, people aren't playing their best golf. But how do we get the most out of it? How do we score our best when we're not playing our best? We're gonna cover all these answers. So this is notoriously a really tough hole here at Motcham, the 11th par three, absolutely smelly. It's about 180, 190 to the flag terribly hard. So I want to talk through my caddying experience here and what I would do to help you. I want you to imagine I was on your shoulder right now to help you play your best golf. First thing, let's laser the flag. So 181, laser's done. Now a lot of you might actually have a golf watch. All I want you to do, and do this for me on every single par three, is get the middle of the green. Forget about the flag, get that middle of the green. Now, we could also have the option of a course guide. Now, this might sound strange. I'm gonna tell you right now that if you remember a golf club and you don't have a course guide, you're going wrong. We slip into too many bad habits, okay? So by getting a course guide, we get into a routine. We start to forget how bad the last hole was. We get into a process and we just keep this whole thing moving. So I've got a course guide on the side of the screen here. These can be digital or whatever. You can see a bunker on the right. Don't want to go long left and this green funnels up. So I know again, middle of the green. It's reminding me of where I'm hitting my golf ball. So I know I've got 180. I'm now going to choose my club. So for me, it's about a six iron for me, a nice comfy one. Now, when you're not playing your best, this is where we need to set into auto mode, I call it, okay? Where we need to be comfortable with what we're doing. So I always wanna feel, and this works for me 90% of the time, when I'm not playing well, I revert to a punchy shot. I feel the elements are not gonna get control of the golf ball as much. I feel like I'm gonna keep the golf ball a little bit lower and have far more control. So I work through this way. I keep trying to remind myself of the swing thought I've been told by my coach. I keep trying to remind myself of the feelings I've been told by my coach. So for me, it's like, feel it strong, rotate, and today it's not going very good, but I just keep sticking to them. I then make a practice swing, picturing that shot. And for me, the best way for me to get it out on here is that low, punchy fade. So I'm gonna move in, and I want you to try this. When you're not feeling good, ball back of the stance, open it up a little bit, punchy fade, get that ball working through to target. Just get a piece, get a piece. Just short right. Now, we're not having a good day, and that might go through the whole game. So let's walk up to the green and talk through if we've got a dodgy chip and our game's not feeling good, how we manage this. So we're at that midpoint way in our round where it's not been going well, we just hit another bad shot. This is the point where we need to think positively. We're at the point where our head's down, we're not talking to our playing partners, and we're sort of trudging along. I want you to do this. Eyes above flag level, and honestly, do this right now. You will feel so much more uplifted. So whenever you're playing bad, get those eyes above flag level, and it'll keep your positive thoughts happening. Another thing that I think you should all listen to here, and this is mad, this is crazy. Hitting it good doesn't actually mean you're playing good. Think of those rounds, right? Again, get in those comments. Think of those rounds where you've hit it pure, and you've scored terrible. I know I can, I can think of plenty. So I want you to think of this right now. Playing good and hitting it good are two different things. We don't have to strike it good to score. We can manage our game using these tips that we've got today. Okay, let's head up to the green right now. Right, so short game. This is the part of the game where we can sort of keep us going, save our shots, save par. So what I want you to think about when your game's not going very good, you've got one technique to use. All I want this to be is ball just slightly back of centre and I want you to grab the golf club just short of the logoed area and all I want you to feel is you keep everything a one lever system. Weight stays anchored left and you keep everything a one lever system. So you're almost just trying to move this triangle back and through, back and through. Guarantee the strike, get the ball on the green and fingers crossed you'll start saving par more often, you'll see the score really improve. So this is a bit of a smelly lie. Wait a little bit left, keep the triangles, my only thought. <laughs> Forget making par, 
Say birdie! Okay, so in reality, that's not gonna happen all the time. But the point of this is, if you keep everything sticking to the same technique, sticking to the same feelings, use the advice on the tee, keep your eyes above flag level, see those scores lower. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up, thumbs up button. Helps me, helps channel improve. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, so not miss any of the daily content.